Hi guys, I'm Ali and you're watching Flippa TV. Tonight I'm in Dolan's and I'm going to catch up with Finny the bassist from Adivisi Chef. So Vinny, how are you? I'm fine. Tipping, tipping away. Tipping away, tipping away. Yeah. good. Tipping good. Away. First things first, so why instrumental music? Uh... <laughs> there you go now. Yeah. Tip it away. You, you, you mess around. I know, up. I know. Uh, well, okay, why instrumental music as opposed to your standard Irish rock scene? Uh, well, I don't know. Like, we can't sing, so it was kind of, it was just kind of decided for us by the gods of rock. So, like, vocals are one less thing to be worrying about then? Yeah, vocalists, are, which are usually just big dopes. So when did you get together and when did you get started and all this kind of thing? Uh, we're going like about four years, I think. Um, Nick and Lara were doing a kind of rocking band called Pterodactyl and I was doing the Vinnie Club. The Vinnie Club? I was doing this thing called the Vinnie Club, What's yeah. the Vinnie Club? Uh, it was just kind of, uh, I don't know what it is, kind of stupid, 80s, funny kind of music. Kind of synth pop kind of a thing? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Cool. Um, I was doing that on my own and then we kind of just, we were just mates. We were mates here so we just started. Having a little jam, sorry. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some pretend I do that. Uh, yeah, so we just started having an L jam. And next thing you know, here we are in Dolan's. Wearing this mask. Wearing Buddy. this mask. But um, I have to say, the Choice Music Awards, they kind of put a platform there for you for the instrumental music scene as well. It must have been good to get that kind of recognition as well on such a broad like, kind of scale. Uh, yeah, it was, well, it was pretty, uh, just insane that, like, I still, we still can't really, uh, figure out why we got nominated for that, but it was nice, obviously, that, uh, it was, I think it was, like, a bigger deal for, like, uh, our folks, you know, because they're all Because parents at home. Yeah, just because, like, you know, they just, they're so used to us just being a bunch of messers, like, it was nice for them just to see our, so maybe they're not. Just mental kids, like they're actually doing something. What was it not big enough for them to see that you went to Japan? Yeah, well, like, but uh, the thing about all that stuff is like we could just be making that up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where oh, yeah, would you say you're going? Going to Japan, and then we're just going <laughs> yeah. to sit down the lane somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about Japan, though, like, because it's such a big place for instrumental music. Um. Yeah. It's it's a just a big place for music. I mean, they just uh, like. The gig scene over there is fucking amazing. Like all the venues have like you know, like venues that are the size of this room have like a staff of twelve and the best equipment going and the best PA and like you know, it's like a Formula One kind of pit stop when you roll into a venue, like everybody's helping helping you. It's just insane. It's kind of like uh, kind of heaven of bands uh, for for bands because they just Look after you so well, it's not the same. Stop sticking in the light here. Oh, fuck is that? Oh, God. Oh. Should we cut? Are you okay to go on? Um, I'll soldier on. <laughs> troop <laughs> on, troop on. But um, you played with Fate No More as well. You we did? <laughs> what was it like to get your crying through the mask uh, there? Yeah. <laughs> crying on the inside. Yeah. Fate No More, though, what was it like to get that phone call or that email? Uh, I think it was a phone call. And it was pretty mad, but yeah, I'm trying to think back. That was two years ago now at this stage, I'd say, wasn't it? Was it two years ago? Two, three years, 2009. Oh, my life is just going. <laughs> Flashing. What's going on? Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, that was, yeah, that was, that was insane. Like, But the thing is, like, we only found out like kind of the day before. Really? So we didn't really have time to get nervous or anything. It was just kind of like, you know, they're gonna do this, and then afterwards it was it was like when I was watching them playing, I was like, I can't believe I'm watching them play no more playing, and then it just I was just like, you played as well, like you didn't, you're not just watching them, you actually played. That's insane. That's amazing, and did things really start kind of rolling from there? Uh, kind of, yeah. It was like, uh, still we still kind of get a lot of people on Twitter and stuff just going, saw you play no more. Yeah, like even a couple of weeks ago, someone was saying, oh, saw you play no more, and it's like. All right, it took you long enough to jump in. Yeah, yeah. Please bless your memory, like. But uh, yeah, 
loads of people saw us that night. I think that never normally have seen us. Yeah, yeah. Cool. He really got the ball rolling. But um, I think you've got a bit of a bromance going on with Jake. And Connor from Villagers. Many, many bromances. Really? Yeah. Who's the other bromances? Oh, I don't know. Chris from us. I watch from Oh yeah, oh yeah. We all love him too. That guy is such a dream boat. Isn't he? Isn't he just? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, what other hints they're not gonna have. Dishes, isn't it? But they both played on your second album, or they both contributed as well, didn't they? They did. They the uh, Jake and Connor. Yeah. yeah. And how'd you get to know them? Uh, let me see. Now, uh, now Richie just kind of, uh, I don't even know when we met him, just, I guess from the Rednecks, like just, yeah, he's just kind of been around. Yeah. Right, just met Connor over at uh, Canadian Music Week, uh, we played with him and then we had a little bit of a chat and then uh, I guess when we got back we were just like, hey, you should, you should do something on the album for the crack and then he did. <laughs> Nothing nicer thing to say about him then. He's just a lovely man. But they're lovely men. They're lovely men. Lovely, they lovely, lovely men in Ireland, don't they we? Have lovely bottoms. <laughs> What's his name in that? <laughs> anyway, moving on. You've got like such a busy summer coming up though, haven't you? You're playing Casablanca, picnic, and you're heading away as well. Yeah, we're going to uh, Canada and the States next week. The week after. Is it next week? It's pretty soon, anyway. Excellent. Uh, no, it's not next week. It's in about three. What's the scene like over there in terms of what you do? Uh, no idea. Yeah. Well, we haven't really played much there. We only we played in Texas before, but that was like South or Southwest, so it was oh, kind of like uh, it's its own thing. Yeah. yeah. But uh, like we have a label over there, and they're the coolest bunch of dudes and dudettes in, in the world, like Sergeant House. So we're just kind of looking forward to going over and hanging out with them again. Excellent. It's legends. Excellent. And uh, what has been the highlight of your career so far? Uh, this. this. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> Dolan's right now? Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. It's it's stop, it's get out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, what's been the highlight of your career? Uh, <laughs> Come on, you've played Fade No More, you've been to Japan, like, there's so much there. Uh, like, uh, I don't know, like, enjoy it, and like, enjoyment wise, probably the last time we went to Japan, uh, we were touring with Mike Watt. Uh, and kind of just going around Japan with Mike Watt and having the buzz was, you know, there was, was, I think we laughed, like, actually had like sore muscles in my tummy, like, from <laughs> laughing so much that it just... What, what's the kind of things you'd be laughing at? Um, what kind of humour do you have? Okay, if you were to pick a comedy that's out there right now, what would you go for? Uh, well, it wouldn't be The Hangover too, because that's Oh, shit. I haven't seen it yet. Is it really that bad? It's Okay, okay. Hangover um, 1 was pretty good, but it, was, it had its moments. I did like Mike Tyson in it. Well, he's in the second one. Was he? Oh, I just kind of spoiled the end. You kind of oh, really? Did you just let the cat out of the bag? Okay, not the Hangover 2 then. What about The Office? American, American, or, American or English. American or English. Uh, I like both, but obviously the American one is very, very different. I know, I thought that as well. I kind of liked the first I kind of liked the first one, the English one, and I was really loyal to it. And I started watching the American one, it's actually pretty good. Did you go, were you a bit, uh, I was a bit, about, uh, yeah, I was a bit, I feel like I'm cheating on the English office, <laughs> but um, I got over myself. Cheating on Ricky Gervais? Kind of, a little bit. Tell him. I won't. Okay. So yeah, what, so what kind of things would you be laughing at? Just uh -huh. people falling over? Yeah, I don't know. We we bring uh, Waterworld on DVD with a smoke. Like Waterworld? Oh my god, I hate that film. I hate it so much. The best film ever. Oh my it's god, it's no, it's miserable. What? All that, the water. All the, the, water, the water, water and the fact that that could be life in what, 56 years from yeah, now? Yeah, it's great crack. They're all going around jet skis. This is true, or like in the air in these kind of vice buildings. Is that Waterworld? Yeah, it is Waterworld. <laughs> Okay, I better actually ask you some proper questions. So, if you weren't playing music, what do you think you could do with your life? Um, I'd probably be dead. Really? Yeah, I think so. Okay, if you had to go and get money without playing music, what would you be doing with your life? Uh, oh, I'd probably be some kind of prison guard. Prison guard? Like in Oz? Yeah, exactly like in Oz. Except. <laughs> Maybe more uh, 
that'd be nice to be a nice for the camera. And tell us something about you that nobody else really knows. Uh, like irrational fears or irrational fears. Yeah. Don't really have any fears. It's not fearless now. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. What are you afraid of? Clowns. I don't really like clowns. That's not irrational though. That's it's perfectly rational. Well, how, what, how is that rational? They're all pedophiles. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, like, hidden talents then? Um, what? <laughs> how is that? That's, it's still the same question on paper. <laughs> Uh, Favourite drink? Favourite drink? Yeah. Uh, I like a, a cheeky red. Okay, there we go. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> a cheeky red. Alright, so I'm only resting. It's been really nice to meet you, Vinny, though. And, and you. Do you have anything else you'd like to add now before we go away? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, yeah. all the usual. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have some dad. Uh, come and say hello to us on Twitter because we have no friends. You've more friends than we do, so come say hello to us on Twitter. Maybe it's me that's talking to you. Best of luck with everything and your future. Thanks. Adios. See you later.